Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing as the Soviet Union. So let's go and jump into today's episode where we're going to try and make some progress here. We're only in April 1938. This is like, episode 6. So we're going to try and make some, some good progress here. Uh, before we do start letting it play though, I want to show you guys I did name the mountain troops. And they're going to be named the Elbruses, which is based off of the highest peak in Russia, Mount Elbrus. So the first thing we need to do here, we need to start making some adjustments to our division designs, and the start will be getting rid of all of these uh, people's brigades for right now, because I don't know if we're going to be using these at all. Uh, we'll have to see, but as of right now, all the divisions that we have, I prefer that they were switched over to the penal divisions. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. That's going to require a bunch of infantry equipment, support equipment we don't have. That's going to require about 61,000 manpower as well. So we're going to switch those guys up, get them training, and some of those are located over here in the east, and we already have some supply issues, but the supply issues are going to get worse now. And so let's go ahead and fix the Trans-Siberian Railroad. Uh, there's, I think, two links here that will ruin your supply in this area. Uh, it looks like three, actually, if you count this one. That might be okay, though. We'll see if we need to build that one up. Uh, but yeah, you do have to get these level ones fixed if you want to have a level two supply going all the way out there. So we'll go ahead and add those ones. And I already removed our planes from over here in Romania. So we had those three air wings that were flying over there. Went ahead and removed them so that they're not uh, taking air accidents because we do take a lot more air accidents than normal with that, uh, with that current national spirit that we still have. We did finish up the active sonar. We'll put those onto those destroyers here in a second. Let's go and get another tech selected. There's quite a few things we need to get. Uh, there's these infantry ones. I still need to get these. We need to start working on the tanks. Probably going to get that next, actually. I think that's going to be the thing we need the most at this point. Yeah. Let's go and start working on the tanks. Uh, we'll just go and get the 1934 medium tank tech. Although, one thing to consider is that we haven't yet gotten the tank designer. And I don't think we would be able to get it done or be able to get it before we researched it. Yeah, I didn't really think about that fact. So what we might want to go ahead and do is just start with the armor protection because we're going to get that anyways. It'll give us a little bit more time to get some political power so we can get the tank designer. Uh, now, I believe the tank designer was also help us research that a little bit quicker. But we have to start getting these tanks. And I don't know when we're going to get the political power here, uh, but that's probably going to be the first thing that we get is a tank designer. Yeah, we'll get a tank designer. So we'll take a look at those once we have the political power to actually get it. Uh, we're not earning a lot of political power right now. The stability's hitting us here. And then, of course, the Trotskyite plot is also reducing our power gain. So, yeah, these are all, you know, hitting us just by a little bit to the point that we're getting uh, 0.87. And that's with the 15% the bonus that we're getting from other uh, modifiers. So we almost have all of the intelligence upgrades. And I did forget to upgrade those ships. We did finish up with that last destroyer, but let's go ahead and get this one only building one more. And we're going to go ahead and change up that design now. Which is to add the better sonar here. There we go. And I did forget to change the name as usual. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and put a C there. So we'll get this better sonar put in there. And we'll see it go up by three points. There we go. Beautiful. Go ahead and set this up to build next. And we have one going into the convoys. Excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and have two going into finishing this destroyer here. All right, and just make sure that that new ship is currently training up. All right, so yeah, the, the goal here is we, we got to get through 1938 and get into 1939. I don't know how far we'll get, but we'll have to see if the war... Oh, no, I still got a dockyard here. No, we still got a dockyard. Uh, so, oh, we just finished up the... the What was that, heavy cruiser that we were building? Uh, Bulgaria approaches the German Reich. Uh, so somebody had wanted me to uh, start justifying a war goal on Bulgaria, and I figured it probably wouldn't be a good idea to, to do that because I assumed that they would join the Axis soon. And even if they didn't, world tension so high that let's say we start forming our world goal, they might end up joining the Allies instead. So no matter, no matter what, I don't think that that would be good. Uh, now, one person addressed me getting this focus here, uh, and they told me that not only do you get the bonuses if, if you went with this foreign experts, not only would you get this bonus here in the design company, but it also unlocks some decisions, which is interesting because it, it barely says it here. I think it's down there at the very bottom. Designer can be upgraded to add new bonuses and improve it. No, that's not even the one. 
Uh, but they were saying this unlocks a bunch of decisions that you can take, which I never took this one before, so I didn't know that. And apparently they're extremely powerful, the decisions that you can take that result in you getting a bunch of bonuses and military factories and stuff. So that's interesting. It doesn't really tell you that though here, so that would be nice to know. I'm okay with still getting this one, but it does sound like we might have missed one that would have been uh, very beneficial for us. Uh, both of these are going to result in us getting some civilian some factories, and we do have to get both of them in order to get the uh, next tech slot. Luckily, they're only 35 days. It won't take us very long. Uh, let's go ahead and get... I think we're just going to try and get this finished up here. Yeah, we'll get that finished up. And then we need to put that heavy cruiser, which is not a very good ship, but it's one of the few capital ships we have. In fact, we probably don't need to be training up. I know that fuel's not really a problem, but these ships do take longer to repair. So we should probably take these guys out. These uh, larger ships, the battleships and the light cruiser. And just leave destroyers and submarines uh, so that we don't have to take as long to repair. That might help us with the, the uh, dockyard situation. And same thing with this heavy cruiser. Once it gets up to the, the full training rank, the regular rank, we'll pull them out. And I hadn't done that yet because, you know, fuel's not really a problem. That would be typically why you pull those larger ships out because of fuel issues. Uh, but, of course, that's not really a problem for us. And one thing I didn't think about is that research bonus, you know, it's it's the same one. And we just used it for the quick tech instead of using it for the ones that take longer. So that was foolish on my part. I shouldn't have used that. Uh, we should have waited. I mean, at least we got it done. But, yeah, we should have used it on these ones, which I think we still have one left. Uh, but, yeah, that was silly. We could have got both of the medium tanks quicker. Uh, but now we're only going to be able to get the, the 1934 one uh, with the, the full research bonus here. Uh, so that's a shame. Uh, so we're just going to have to wait, guys. We just don't have the political power. And oh, I, I think we would end up finishing this before we actually got the uh, uh, the upgrade, the design company. So even if we didn't build those, you're still taking longer to research. So I think we're just going to wait. Yeah, we'll have to wait to get those. It's not like we don't have lots of stuff to get. I mean, because we only have the three research slots. So there's just tons of stuff we need. And so I think we're going to go and focus on getting the support companies now, just to get these knocked out. We have a research bonus for this one, so we can get that in 95 days. And then we can get those all added to our division designs, take a look at our equipment situation. Still hurting on the infantry equipment, but I think we're going to be changing up the design soon. Yeah, we're likely going to make some improvements to designs. And now we're repairing again, so we need to stop doing that uh, and build more military factories, which we always need more of. Uh, I guess we're going to get this selected first. And then we'll build more military factories. As far as what we want to get here, I almost think that we'll get the invisible ink and then be done. I suppose we could do more for the decryption power. So we can do that quicker, but it's 10 factories. I don't really want to spend our factories on that right now. Uh, I guess you could do this one as well. That helps if we capture any operatives, which typically the Soviets do capture a lot of them. Uh, this would be good to do as well because we're actually working on that. I know that's eight factories, but you know what? That would help us in Sweden quite a bit. So we're going to go and get that. Yeah, because that would help us trying to get the, the Swedes switched over to communism. Uh, so let's build some more military factories. I'm just going to continue building them out here. There's really no reason not to. I mean, you know you're never going to lose it if something bad happens on the front with the Germans. Uh, they're not going to get that far because then you lost. But there, I don't think there's any reason to not be able to build closer because I don't expect they'll push us that far back if they push us back at all. Of course, the goal is to not get pushed back at all. Uh, we'll just have to see what happens there. Yeah, just continue working on the military factories since the equipment is our main issue. And these here are going to get us those civilian factories too, allowing us to, to work on three lines now. We only have three factories going towards that one, but yeah, this will help. And we're no longer getting those effects. I don't remember what exactly they were. I think we're civilian factories, though. So, yeah, now we're down to not even a full two lines. That's a real shame. I didn't realize just how much that was helping us. That was a nice bonus. I know it had a few penalties to it as well. Uh, but, yeah, that was obviously helping us quite a bit. All right, well, whatever. We're going to get a few more civilian factories here. This is two more. But the most important thing is getting that, that research bonus, the extra slot, I mean, uh, so let's go ahead and go after the invisible ink. I might just knock all these out. I'm not sure. I know we need the civilian factories, but I do like knocking them out early. Just so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, we're no longer getting the effects of the ground-based training. I don't remember which that one was. 
don't know if that was one of the negative ones. Could have been that we got from from Stalin. Uh, we have fully decrypted the Germans. All right, excellent. So we're gonna work on somebody else. I do expect we'll have to continue doing them once they get some of their uh, bonuses. Or excuse me, once they get some of their uh, upgrades. So the next ones to do would probably be the Italians, maybe the Japanese. Yeah, I think the Italians. Could do Poland as well, but I don't know if we're actually going to attack them. I don't know what we're going to do up along here because we have research, excuse me, we have uh, focuses against all of these countries here. Now going to war with Poland, you know, you could do it right when the Germans attack, but like I said, there are some advantages if you can get control of all this to letting the Germans have all of Poland. There are some significant advantages of doing so, like cutting off the troops here. Of course, then they get all the, the factories and other bonuses of having control of all of Poland. So there is that negative. So we're finally working on getting that next research slot. So that's excellent. Uh, the infantry equipment now has also been solved. So we're going to go ahead and change up these division designs. Yeah, let's go ahead and change up all the division designs because we cannot have a surplus of infantry equipment. We got to spend it right away. Uh, so let's go ahead and make some huge adjustments to our division designs. Uh, so we need a, to add a lot to these guys, but I think it's more important right now to finish up the defense divisions because they are not very large and I want them to be much, much larger than this. Uh, rather than building a bunch of divisions, I think it would be better to have really large division designs for our defensive units and we can fit quite a bit more. So let's go ahead and do that now. And it's gonna be like nothing but infantry. Uh, so that they don't really require a lot of equipment here. I could see adding like one more thing to here, like logistics companies, because these guys are going to eat a lot of supply up. So that might be, might warrant uh, doing. And we have the trucks to support it. It would require 20 more support equipment, so that would be negative. Uh, but let's see how much it's going to impact the, the supply situation, because we're going to be uh, obviously costing a lot of equipment with this huge division of infantry, nothing but infantry. I don't know how much we'll be able to do. It looks like we have enough experience to like complete it because I'm looking at maybe doing, I think 42. Yeah, I think we're going to do 42 guys. And again, it's nothing but infantry. So this is going to cost us a lot of infantry equipment. I mean, we're going to be so far in the negative. Uh, obviously a lot of manpower as well. But yeah, if you can make them just a little bit better by not eating as much supply of, it's going to reduce the organization. Their organization is going to be ridiculous. It's going to be difficult for somebody to push forward against these guys, especially once they get a bit of an entrenchment going. Uh, this will also increase the breakthrough, as you can see, but that's not going to be their, their main job. But the supply use is going to go down by quite a bit. You're going from 1.28 for every one of these divisions down to 1.15. But I'm worried about the equipment, so we're not going to do it just yet. Let's go ahead and save that. And yes, that is going to require a stupid number of infantry equipment. As you can see, we're now short 109,000. So that's absolutely what we're going to have to put all of our factories towards now. But this is going to result in it being very difficult for them to push forward on our main frontier. Uh, and we can train all these guys up for experience as well, more army experience. So we can make further adjustments to our division designs. We also got that research speed, super helpful with our uh, current situation here. Uh, still knocking these out. Could go ahead and get these. Do we have the design company for that? We do not. Yeah, we haven't gotten the material designers. I guess we just haven't had the political power to do much of anything. Uh, it's been another one of our issues. Equipment and, and political power have been our shortages here. Uh, so again, I just feel like you should wait. You don't have to get that right now. It's, it's passive bonuses that aren't gonna help us while we're in peace. Now this is something that we, we need to get more, which is why we're gonna get the tank designer as soon as we get the 150 political power. Uh, as far as other 1938 techs that we can get, uh, I guess we can go and do one of these excavations. We know we're gonna want to, to do at least one because tungsten will become an issue eventually. We got the invisible ink. Uh, so the next one would be, I guess we'll do, go ahead and do the interrogation techniques. You could also do the passive defense. Anti-partisan would be useful a little bit later on. But yeah, I always forget to, uh, we'll do the commando training first. But I always forget to, to do those once I stop. I'll stop doing them, 
and then I'll just completely forget that I haven't haven't completed them yet. Uh, but yeah, we'll design all of the uh, the armies for the front line. We'll do that later, guys. It's not really a priority, I think. We don't even know what it's going to look like just yet. Because it really depends on whether we get these or not, which I hope we do. Uh, but those require us to go down a whole nother branch at the Munich Agreement. Uh, that requires us to go down a whole nother branch here that we haven't even started, which is the common term branch. Uh, and then that allows us to get like Baltic security, that's important. And then to go down to the claims of the Baltic. And that gives you the, the decisions to send ultimatums to them. So we're going to want to start going down that. That's 35 days and 70 days. This one's also 35, so that's 140 days total to get that. So we do need to start going down those. But as I've said many times, I feel like the, the research slots should be the priority. They have to be the priority. we got the field hospitals. We'll be adding those to our division designs. And I think that's it. I mean, we could go ahead and do signal companies as well. And we eventually will, uh, but I don't think we're going to do that yet. So we're going to go ahead and get armored trains so that we can get... We're going to have to cut that truck that just went by. That was live as hell. Uh, I was saying, I was talking about the, our, our, uh, the, our trains. We're going to get those so that we can get the uh, railway guns. Now, I heard that the railway guns are really powerful. I didn't get them in my test runs, but I did fight against them. And I looked at the bonuses they give. And you know, that they're helpful, but it's like a 5% bonus or something like that to attack and maybe something else. Uh, let's go ahead and get something here. We'll get the interrogation techniques. So again, that's that's helpful. It's helping you more than Intel typically does, I suppose. As far as like the Intel bonus you get. But yeah, it's not like huge. So I'm not entirely sure why everybody thinks they're so like overpowered. I've heard overpowered, which I, I don't get that. Uh, just again, I haven't used them, but I fought against them. And that's not really the way I felt. I felt like it was just like a modifier that kind of helped you out. And everything helps, of course. Yeah, I don't know that that maybe there's something I'm missing about them uh, for why they're some people are considering them overpowered. I feel like they're just about right. Uh, they're a good fit, I suppose, and uh, they don't seem like they're you know too big of an advantage, uh, but they are an advantage. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the tank designer so we can start researching the the tank techs. As far as which one we're going to do, we have a lot of choices available to us. So with this one, we're going to get uh, plus five percent on max speed, plus ten percent on re reliability. Not really necessary uh, because you know we can already increase the speed of our tanks and frankly the, the tanks are going to be slowed down by the motorized and mechanized that accompanies them. Uh, so that's really not going to help us all that much. Reliability is always helpful though. Uh, here you're going to a smaller reliability bonus but then a plus 5% soft attack so that's nice against the infantry. Here you're going to get soft attack plus armor. Might go for that one. Yeah, I would like to have more armor and then soft attack is again that's helpful. This one here would be a more unconventional choice. Because you're giving up a 5% research bonus to your armor research speed. And what you're getting in exchange is a conversion speed bonus, which is you know helpful, of course. Uh, equipment capture ratio modifier. The land equipment experience cost, I don't think that's all that useful because it doesn't really cost that much experience to make adjustments to tanks. And then you get a, a smaller reliability than some of these other ones. I guess it's equal with that one there. But yeah, it's definitely not the one we're going to go for. Uh, but it's an interesting one. And then we have the heavy tank designer, which will increase armor and heavy attack. Wow, I'm really uh, tossing between these two here. You're going to get the armor bonus either way, but you want the soft attack or the heavy attack. You're going to be fighting more infantry than you are tanks, uh, even if, even with the Germans, if they focus on a lot of tanks. You know, you're still going to have a lot more infantry that you're facing. So I think the soft attack might be more beneficial. And then we can always get more heavy attack, hard attack. Uh, you know, through our tank designer. So I think it might be better to do the soft attack in this case. Yeah, if this was piercing instead, that might be a different story. Increasing your piercing, but yeah, I think we're going to go with the, the soft attack in this case. It'd probably be just better off in the long run. It'd help us more, I think. Uh, we do have one military factory. Let's go and get this assigned to infantry equipment. We're short 102,000. Uh, so let's go ahead and really focus the factories on that. And now we can go ahead and get the medium tanks here with the research bonus and you can see that it's gonna be 87 days so we saved I think it was eight days there my waiting now you say oh well we would have already gotten it by now or whatever but there's not just that to consider because you're also we researched other things and so we wouldn't have gotten those things that we researched uh, so we just got another research slot awesome so that's gonna be really helpful uh, so now should we go for the next research slot I kind of feel like we should 
we could start doing the the five year plans since remember we can't get these once we uh once we go to war but yeah i feel like the best benefit for us right now would be research slots because we're so far behind on tech and we've already started working towards these so it makes sense to go and go after the next one and then from there we might end up going after the common turn and baltic security on down to claims in the baltic just to make sure we get control of that uh, but for right now let's go and go with uh the means to wage war yeah that'll actually get us a uh, a bonus to material designer cost yeah we should get that because i don't think we, we haven't gotten that designer yet uh, we have one more research slot now as well uh so we can go and get the uh, armor protection i think that will be what we get since we've already been waiting a while to get the tank stuff i'd like to get the medium tanks producing uh, we also need to produce some light self-propelled artillery might do that this episode i know that factories are a problem of course they always are uh but i'd like to start getting some of them out there is there anything else we still needed over here did we get everything i know we need the machine assisted decryption i don't want to use the civilian factories on that right now guys we'll just have to try and remember maybe you guys can remind me that we haven't finished up in here uh but yeah we will do the passive defense we'll finish these up guys get the last two so it'll be more difficult for people to do stuff against us uh, let's take a look at how we're doing against the Swedes here. We're at 24%. We've increased that by a lot. When I started today's episode, I looked at it, and I think it was 8.5% or 8.6% or something like that. So definitely made a lot of progress there. Uh, we also have a lot of command power. So we could, if there's anybody that has traits, we could go and get those guys upgraded. Might want to look through all your generals and like see, you know, rather than just sitting at the max. I guess it's not at max yet. Yeah, you could like go through all your generals here and see if anybody needs to be promoted. I guess we don't need to, to do any traits here that I'm seeing. None that are available that we actually want. So we'll just keep the command power for now. Uh, we're no longer getting the training activities curtailed. Maybe that was uh, one of the negatives that we had for the Air Force. I know we had one that was hurting us besides the Soviet Air Force one. That we've gotten from uh, Stalin's purges. So it's good to be getting rid of those. Uh, we could start getting the naval doctrines. We might have one available. No, no, no. It's 120, isn't it? Yeah, it's 120, so we can't get anything yet. All right, so we're going to get the last pass of defense, and then we're done, guys. Uh, we need to get more military factories building. Again, just kind of focusing on these. And already got one going in Stalingrad. Oh, we got a nice 80% there. Let's build a couple there. Soviet Volunteer Group. Okay, so this is for China, for helping China out. And I think we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to dispatch the Soviet Volunteer Group. It's a decision that we take. Uh, we'll take a look at that. But this initially will just get us 25 air experience, so that's helpful. But yeah, we want to help the, the Chinese out. Uh, we can't send them volunteers, unfortunately. I think I mentioned this earlier in the series. Uh, maybe I didn't. Uh, but you can't send volunteers until you've gone through one of the focuses down in this Comaturn way. Uh, so you have... The threat from the land of the rising sun once you get that you get to pick who you're going to support and then you can only send volunteers to that chinese country so if we wanted to say support the communist china you have to pick this one and then you can send volunteers only to them the soviet union cannot send volunteers a chinese faction that it does not support so we can't even help them unfortunately and i think that's the only war going if we wanted to help anybody like with volunteers that's the only possible war i'm going to take a look at that decision Looks like we don't have the political power to do it. Or we do and there's something else. Oh, we don't have tactical bombers. you got to have 50 tactical bombers in the stockpile. And the reason why we don't have tactical bombers in the stockpile is because uh, I've got them over here. Now, if we do that, they'll gain some war support. And we'll be able to send more air volunteers. Uh, we'd also have to send them 100 fighters, though. But again, it all does help against the Japanese, and China's doing really good now. I feel like getting them the, the two uh, ticks on their difficulty while only even Japan one has made the difference there. Because, yeah, they're holding out fantastically, for China anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed uh, with how well they've been holding out. So helping them further, I think, would be beneficial. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that, uh, which means we'd have to get rid of uh, some of these tactical bombers that we have. We just need to, like, you know, tick down the numbers a bit which i'm fine with and then that will allow us to to take that decision so let's go and do that 
and help out the Chinese against against the Japanese. Uh, we do have supply issues. Okay. So we might need to, to dip through here and just move units to other areas, I suppose. But again, there's it's very difficult to completely avoid supply issues from what I've seen. So let's go ahead and move these guys as well. And it's it's the winter that's causing the problems right now for us. Yeah, just like everywhere, you have like one or two divisions. They're having some issues with supply. I think that's it. That's all I'm seeing right now. Uh, we can go and take a look at the, the situation about over here in the east. And this one guy here is having some supply problems. Over here you have some supply. Well, I guess everywhere you do. Anywhere you have more than one division, apparently, you have supply issues. All right, so we'll send them over there then. But yeah, I guess there's not really any way to fix the supply here without you know having to you know, build stuff and do things, which I'm not really interested in doing because the Eastern Front is really not uh, gonna be a focus. Now there is that one a border conflict that you can have with Japan, which is in this province here. So we could have that one border conflict. I think we're done here, guys. Yeah, I, I think we're done for now. We can always come back to it later, if I remember. You guys can help me remember that. But we need to be saving these civilian factories for building up these military factories because we're just not in a good position. We need equipment. A lot of equipment. I, I suppose we can go ahead and, and design those self-propelled light tanks. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Now, I don't think there's any text that we've gotten that unlocked new equipment since the last time we designed this. So I believe all the equipment is fine. So that's all we're going to want to do is create a new model here and then turn it into a self-propelled artillery. Uh, but first we got to get the, the gun changed up. So it's going to still be a, a small armament here, and then you can easily see which one is the one you're looking for, whether it's for tank destroyers, for artillery, or for anti-air, since it has these little icons on there. Uh, so the only one we have for artillery is the base close support gun here. So we're going to go ahead and get that. And the main reason why we're putting self-propelled artillery in there is the way, reason you always put artillery in your divisions is for the soft attack. It's going to make a huge impact. Now we're not going to want to like change up the armor or anything, or at least not let it go down too far. Uh, because remember the division designs their armor is an average so you take away all the armor of your self-propelled artillery because like oh it's artillery it doesn't need to have armor or it doesn't need to have that much armor and then you ruin the whole division reducing the armor of the entire light tank division so we're not going to be making too many adjustments here uh, the main adjustments or with speed or anything because you want it to be the same speed and all that good stuff uh, really the only thing you're going to want to to change is these modules here maybe you know to kind of uh, give you different bonuses perhaps. Uh, so we're probably still going to want the, the heavy machine gun in this case on the, the, the uh, second turret. Although, you could also see going for the, the small cannon in this case. Yeah, I can see going for the small cannon simply because it's going to give us more soft attack, uh, but it would slow us down. That's right. We don't want to reduce our speed at all. I suppose you could put another point into the uh, into the engine to kind of make up for that uh, for that change. Because the main thing we're wanting here from this artillery is for them to be able to increase our soft attack. They would uh, lose a little bit of armor. Actually, it looks like they have the same armor, and this is going to grant them some breakthrough as well. So that's pretty helpful. You know, I'm going to try and see if we can't. Uh, add that and then make the adjustments to make sure they stay above the 15 kilometers on the speed. Uh, we'll see. There's a few things we can do. Uh, reliability is getting kind of low, but again, there's stuff we can do about that as well. Uh, so this is already increasing reliability. Don't want to take that away. Uh, could change this out here. We're currently using the additional machine guns. Uh, we could just see if there's anything else available that would be a better option here. I don't think so, guys. Yeah, I really don't think so. Yeah, we want to keep that soft attack high on this. So we'd keep all that the same and then increase the armor or excuse me increase the engine to make up for the the speed we lost and they might just have slightly lower reliability than the the other light tanks uh, but yeah i think this is a good design here you're gonna you know increase your soft attack your divisions by quite a bit uh you're gonna lose some heart attack of course 
lose some piercing as well. Uh, but you're also getting more breakthrough, which I wasn't expecting that. Of course, the main purpose of doing this light self red artillery is to get ourselves some uh, uh, some soft attack here. So we change over to the artillery. That's also going to reduce the hardness overall. Uh, that's the case with any of these. The artillery, the tank destroyer, the anti-air, they all result in you getting less hardness overall. So I think this looks good. Yeah, I think this is a, a solid design, getting a lot of soft attack here. And reliability didn't tick down that much. So I like this. We're going to call it the Rabbit Thumpers. Nobody offered another suggestion for our fast tank units. And so we'll just keep it Rabbit stuff, Rabbit related, related things, I suppose. We already built a bunch of them anyway. And so these would be the Rabbit Thumpers because rabbits like to thump. And, and I don't know if you've ever had a rabbit or heard a rabbit thump, but good God, those little critters. They smack their feet on the ground, and it is so loud. It's way louder than you'd expect from such a little critter. And as far as like what we can pull from, we don't need trains anymore. And yeah, we really don't need to build trains anymore, but I don't really want to lose the efficiency by getting rid of the line. And, and one factory in the long run is not going to have a huge effect. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we'll be able to pull from. But we kind of need everything. Even the, I guess you can pull from anti-air. But even the anti-tanks, we're going to need those. Uh, artillery you can pull from that I suppose we already pulled from the the trucks I'll just keep the one line going for now we're gonna need more support equipment too uh, but let's go ahead and put into the little rabbit thumpers first so I can add those to the tank division designs and we'll also go to the support equipment yeah we're gonna do that it's fine we're building a lot of factories uh, so let's go ahead and add those to the division designs now since we're not at war so it's not really gonna be a, a big deal that the fact that we don't have these yet and get the light self-propelled artillery here. Uh, I don't know how many we'll add. Probably more than that eventually. Because we're going to want these guys to be much larger. I think we said uh, 45 is what we're looking to, to make them. I suppose we can go and start increasing them with that in mind now. We need another tank line though. Yeah, these need to be tanks here. So you know what? I should have put self-propelled artillery over here. How much experience do we have? We have a bit. So let's put the self-propelled artillery on this side. And we'll just do the, the two for right now, and then we're going to want to change up these guys to the to the motorized infantry. And then change these guys over to tanks. Maybe pull out one of those there. And then get the uh, motorized over here. Alright, so that looks pretty solid. Uh, we're at 34. Obviously a lot of equipment needed here. This is a solid start here. Uh, let's go ahead and use that last five experience to add some more light tanks in there. Alright, so let's go ahead and save that. Obviously we still need nine more combat with. So we got a lot of adjustments still need to make. And we still need to add support companies to our division designs as well. So that will increase the stats by quite a bit for those tank units. Uh, we're going to want to get all these guys trained over here. Oh, nobody's nobody needs the training yet. They actually got quite a bit of experience in those wars we did, didn't they? All right, uh, we'll need to let them get their manpower and see if they end up needing any training. All right, so we got some research bonuses for the support tech, so that'll be helpful. Uh, we did unlock these ones here. These are pretty good. Uh, you're going to get more breakthrough in artillery defense, so that's nice. Another military factory, some support artillery. These are all good. Uh, this one's pretty good as well. So that'll all help us, but that's going to be stuff we're going to have to get later because, again, we're, we're focusing on the, the research tech here. Uh, this will get us some... So a little bit more manpower, which we don't have any manpower. So that's a problem. We used up all the manpower. Yeah, we used every bit of our manpower from those uh, changes that I made. Uh, we will take the non-aggression pack from Communist China. Uh, we did get the improved armor protection. Excellent. So we're done with this line. We can go and start working on the medium tanks. Uh, or excuse me, the heavy tanks. I think we're going to wait. Uh, let's get the medium and then we'll do the heavy. Because again, production is, is the issue. It's not like we can... Not like we have a bunch of factories to produce this kind of stuff right now. So yeah, I think we're going to wait on that. We are in December, uh, so might as well go and start with the 1939 techs. And because equipment is the issue, let's go for Concentrate Industry 3. Make those factories more efficient. But yeah, we, we're going to need to do something about the manpower issues that we have here. This will help a little bit, but it's not going to make a huge impact. Uh, we did get the basic medium. You know, I completely forgot that we had that tank design already available that unlocked the better medium tanks, so we could have already been building those. But again, uh, equipment's the problem, so it's fine. And we needed to knock this out in order to get the 1941 
uh, though we won't be able to get that yet. We got another year. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and design that once we have the army experience, which we're almost there. I don't think it's gonna cost much, maybe six. Shouldn't take us very long to earn enough so we can start building some medium tanks. Could get the heavy tanks so that we can start getting those going as well. We're gonna wait just a little bit, guys. We are gonna use heavy tanks. I know I'm not a huge fan of heavy tanks in a past series. I often don't get them. We do usually get them as either Germany or the Soviet Union as like a role play reasons, but I'm, I've never been a big fan of them in Hoi 4, and I prefer the medium tanks just because of pound for pound, their production cost isn't actually worth their stats when you do the math. Now they have incredibly high stats and you can stack that, that armor to the point where it's very difficult to penetrate it. So they were powerful. Uh, but pound for pound, and when you consider their terrain penalties, the massive terrain penalties that heavy tanks get, uh, anytime they're fighting on anything but flat ground, they're pretty terrible, honestly. Uh, they're not, if they're fighting in you know, mountains or hills, so you have to really micromanage them for them to be efficient. Uh, make sure you're not using them in, in areas where they're going to do poorly. So you got to consider the terrain bonuses and the fact that over half the provinces of the world, the heavy tanks are not going to perform very well. Uh, but then also just the production costs. Again, if you do the math, the number of medium tanks you're going to get for the cost of a, a heavy tank is easily worth uh, getting those instead. Uh, you're going to do better in, in the long run uh, just because of the high production costs. So you're getting those really good stats, but it's not worth the production for it. So that's the reason why I've never done heavy tanks or, or don't usually do heavy tanks outside of when we play as the Soviets or the Germans. However, with the tank designer, the whole situation has kind of changed because you can make heavy tanks completely different. Uh, than they were in, in previous versions of Hoi 4. Uh, you can make a very different tank. And so now, I think we will go with heavy tanks, but we're not going to do it yet, guys. Uh, and again, it's the problem is the production. Uh, we'll just focus on medium tanks. We don't have to have heavy tank uh, divisions in 1941, guys. I don't really feel like that's necessary. Uh, we would want them probably by 42 or 43, uh, but, and I mean out in the field. Obviously, we'll research them well before that, but it takes a while to build them and get them into the field. So yeah, I think we'll wait a little bit to get the heavy tanks just because, you know, we just hit 1939. We have lots of equipment issues and now we have so much to research. You know, we have all these. This is also going to lock all those, those different guns that we're going to want. In fact, we'll probably want to go ahead and get these now. Let's just look at which one's going to give us the, uh, the stuff that's going to help us. These both will grant us the medium cannons. And so we need those. Uh, Anti-air we can get a bit later. Those are just passive bonuses here. So we're gonna want to get one of these in order to get the medium cannon. Uh, this is a nice uh, uh, like extra module to have, a special module, since it increases your piercing. So that's pretty helpful to have. So I think we're gonna get, we, we'll need this one as well for our self-propelled artillery. I think we'll go ahead and get the, uh, the anti-tank one first, and then we'll get that one. Yeah. I believe that's what we're going to do next. Let me just double check here. We have those research bonuses there as well. So we need to get those. But we have the the basic ones here. So we can add those to the vision designs. The rest of these are just going to be passive bonuses. So let's actually just focus on getting equipment. And you know what? We should probably get this one first so we can build the... Yeah, because this isn't a new anti-tank equipment. So this will allow us to build the better artillery. So we'll get this one first and then the anti-tanks. I think that's the better option for us. But yeah, those techs overall have gotten a lot more powerful, a lot more useful, uh, considering the fact that, uh, you know, they now unlock some of your tank modules. We got excavation, excellent. Uh, and let's go ahead and go after, let's go after construction three so we can uh, build these military factories a little bit quicker. And we're getting a lot of these knocked out. We're now up to 61 military factories. That probably pales in comparison to what the Germans currently have at this moment. I'm willing to bet they've got a lot more than we do. Uh, we got the the armored trains, excellent, and I guess we're going to go after uh, the railroad gun railroad guns. So we start building those. They do take a little while to build. I think you can only put five military factories into those at a time. And have we still not finished up? Did I build too many of these? Uh, we can upgrade to the armored trains. I know they're a lot more expensive production wise, but again, they have that armor, so it's pretty helpful. Uh, but look at the production costs. Yeah, I think we're going to go and build these guys. Uh, because, you know, it's not like we're short on trains. We have plenty of trains, guys. Uh, we're sitting at 509 in the stockpile. And that's largely because we got those from Romania and from Turkey. Uh, so, yeah, let's go and start building the armored ones. I know we're going to lose all that efficiency. Let's just get them put out there. Uh, and then these guys are still building as well. That's what the other thing is. Why can't we deploy them? 
Oh, because we don't have the manpower. Uh, so they're probably done, but we can't deploy them yet. Interesting. So we probably want to pull the dockyard from that. Yeah, we, we just don't have any manpower. And so that's causing us issues there. All right. That's a bummer. Uh, we need to change up our manpower laws, apparently. Uh, I think we'll have to prioritize that, actually. Yeah, we're going to have to prioritize getting that. Uh, this will help a little bit strengthen the mobilization plan because it gives you the recruitable population factor 3%. It's not going to make a huge difference, though. This here will give us more max entrenchment, helpful for our defense, and we'll be able to build forts faster. It's only a 35-day focus. As far as building forts, I don't know. We'll see if we even need them, guys. Uh, the Germans are moving quickly. Uh, let's take a look and see how many factories they have, just to compare. I'm sure they have quite a bit more. Yeah, they're looking at probably 80, somewhere around there. So yeah, they have, or excuse me, that's civilian factories. Uh, military factories, probably about 76 or 77 or somewhere around there. Uh, that's just, you know, a guess. So yeah, they have more military factories than we do. It looks like we actually have more civilian factories or close to the, the same number of civilian factories. Some of those focuses really helped us out. And we built quite a few, I suppose, in the early, early game. Uh, we can get the Naval Doctrine, so we will. Uh, let's go ahead and do... All we, though we could wait until we get rid of that modifier. I don't know when that's going to happen. Let me just double check when that is. So it's these two focuses here. They're quite a ways down here. All right, so I don't think we're going to wait for that. But they'll either change up that, that uh, spirit, national spirit, or you'll get rid of it and replace it with another one. Another thing I'm seeing here is that they actually have a focus for penal battalions. I hadn't seen that before. Yeah, they have a, a penal battalion one. It's interesting. Uh, but yeah, I don't think there's any reason to, to wait to get focuses until we get rid of that one because it's just uh, it's too far away, guys, from getting it. So we're going to start knocking these out. And I believe we'll start with the destroyer ones because, again, the main thing we'll be fighting is, is German submarines, at least initially. So getting those destroyers better would be helpful because our destroyer fleet is uh, pretty small still. Uh, we did get more military factories. Excellent. Let's go ahead and start assigning these so they'll... they'll They'll do it themselves here, so we don't have to, to dip in here every single time. I, I suppose we should look and see exactly what else we need besides the infantry equipment, because we know we need lots of that. Uh, we'll need more support equipment, I can tell you that right now, because uh, we're about to make some adjustments once we get more experience. Uh, we have a lot of support companies to still add. Light tanks is pretty bad with those adjustments I made. Yeah, we should probably focus on these then. Okay, uh, so that's what we'll do. Uh, let's go ahead and go up to 15 here, 5 here, uh, 12 here. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's good for now. I should keep them busy. Uh, maybe one more for close air support. Since we just researched those not that long ago. And so we don't have very many. I think it would be worth uh, investing in it. So we're in February 1939. I figure we get to the spring of 39. I don't think we'll get to the summer now. As soon as we get the political power, we'll make that adjustment to our conscription laws. And, and you make that one adjustment, and then we don't have manpower problems for at least a while. Uh, so we've knocked that out, and that will allow us to get our last research slot. Super helpful. Get that in 70 days. And uh, then we'll have a lot of choices for what we want to go next. I think we're going to do the political ones so we can try and deal with the Baltic states. Because I want to know what kind of situation we're going to be looking at in the war with the Germans. What are our borders going to look like? I don't know. Really depends on if we can get the Baltic states or not. Can get the material designer, because remember we got the national spirit that it makes them cheaper. But again, we're going to wait. And we're going to change up our, our manpower laws, because we have no manpower. Zero. It's pretty bad. We can't even build the damn destroyer. That's that's really bad, but you can't build ships. Uh, so let's go ahead and get more military factories. It's always going to be the military factories, guys. We'll use that 80%. I know it's close to the front. Again, I'm not planning on losing the front. All right, so yeah, just more military factories. Uh, we can take a look at our supply situation real quick, see if we've improved it. Still pretty bad over here, despite the, the level two railroads. Frankly, we'll have to get level three railroads before the war starts. Also, we've got all the situation down here, which I don't know if we're gonna evacuate from there or not. But yeah, looks like it's it's doing much better. Uh, over here is still a problem. I mean, this is, is terrible. Good God. Yeah, we're just going to have to move them out of there. Move another one up to here, I suppose. Yeah, this is just horrible. The supply situation here. Yeah, not good. And then, of course, here's problematic as well. 
I feel like there must be a bottleneck or something. No? I'm not seeing one. Okay, so yeah, no bottleneck that's causing the issue. So yeah, it's just uh, level twos might not be enough here or something. I really don't want to do level twos up in the north though. Or, or excuse me, level threes. Uh, because the front, if we take these, would be this area here. And so this is where you want to get the level threes going uh, from Moscow. So we got the artillery. Excellent. We'll go ahead and make that change there. And now that we've gotten that, uh, we'll go ahead and get the tanks building. Yeah, we'll, we'll get the tanks going here in a minute. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can change up our conscription laws. We can. We actually could at 105 political power. Okay, I wasn't aware of that. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get that now. And that's going to only be a 1% increase, but because we're the Soviet Union, that's going to be huge for us. That's a lot of manpower, 1% here in the Soviet Union. We might not ever have to go higher. We might go one more step higher once the war starts, I suppose. Uh, we also have the army experience to make that adjustment for those tanks. And I need to get the artillery. So let's go ahead and do that. I know that seems like uh, a lot of artillery that we have in the, the stockpiles right now, but we'll need it because I'll be adding artillery to quite a few things. So yeah, we will need that there. Uh, but let's go and do the, the tanks, the medium tanks, so we can start getting these built. And because we already had the A20s here, the Alpha 20s here, that's uh, the reason why we don't have a just a basic medium tank chassis. I haven't looked in the outdated, there's there's none here. They're just considering this to be the one that we'll use and, and make adjustments to. So the reason why I didn't make use of these guys here, uh, why we didn't start building them uh, besides the production issues, because we did have production issues, obviously, is because they were using a small cannon. Uh, they did not have the medium cannon yet because we didn't have that unlocked. And so that's the, the main reason why I didn't do it, uh, as well as the production problems. Uh, so this will be big for us now that we actually have the medium cannon. Look at the stat differences. Of course, you're going to lose a little, bit of, a little bit of reliability here. Uh, you're also going to need that tungsten. That's what I was talking about where we're going to start having tungsten troubles eventually. Uh, so we will need tungsten to, to build it. So those are the two negatives here, uh, but look at the soft stat going up by three, piercing going up by 10, breakthrough going up by two. Uh, so yeah, very helpful getting the medium cannon here. So we'll knock that out. Uh, we could go ahead and grab a three man turret as well. We'll reduce speed further, but it increases breakthrough uh, by four. So that's pretty big. So I think we will go ahead and change over that. Also it's gonna increase production by a slight amount, but I feel like it's worth it. So let's go to the three man turrets. Uh, we have one special module. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put, I like putting the radios here. I'm trying to design them all the same so I, I know like, can easily look at them and know where some of these things are. So I always put like the radio there and uh, the secondary turret or sometimes vice versa, but the, those two will be here in the initial slots because uh, I almost always add these, these two here just because these increase stats by so much, both of them do. Uh, but you are of course losing reliability speed and increasing production when you get these but yeah i can see speed being an issue we want to keep it above eight kilometers for my medium tank that's our goal here to keep it or eight kilometers or above uh, so you see it is going down as we add stuff uh, so between the two of these uh, as far as which we want to go with you get that small cannon you're losing some armor i don't think we're going to do that one guys it would increase the breakthrough uh, but yeah, i think we're just going to stick with the heavy machine uh, heavy machine guns in this case and uh, then over here, with the last two slots, probably gonna get armor skirts. Could also do sloped armor for the increased, I mean, because that's gonna be, give you way more armor, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna give you, a, not way more, but a bit more. Three or four more uh, armor here. It is increasing production by a lot more. Actually, it's the same, almost. Okay, so yeah, we'll get the sloped armor. I think that's a, a clear choice. The reliability is in a fine place right now because of the diesel engines. I didn't look at the suspension or anything. Uh, we currently have on there the Christie. Okay, so that's why we have the speed. Okay, I was wondering why we had so much speed here, considering the stuff we already had on it. I really want the breakthrough here. Same production cost. Yeah, then we go down slower, so we'll have to put some points into the engine. Uh, reliability is also going to be decreased here, but man, I like having, I really like having some, some higher, uh, breakthrough for our medium tanks. I think we'll do that. Uh, the weld art, welded armor will be likely what we stick with here, just cause I think going with the cast armor is going to be too expensive. 
Yeah, production goes up by a, a very large amount. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna go with that. We'll, we'll stick with the welded armor, guys. I think that's the best option for us. We will have to stick with diesel, diesel engines now uh, because our reliability is already low enough as it is. All right, so we have one more slot here. And yeah, we will have to increase speed. Uh, reliability looks like it might be an issue. So we could get something for reliability. Could also get the armor skirts for more breakthrough and more armor. And that might be what we end up doing here, guys. Yeah. We're going to do that. And so now you got a 66.6 .6 armor, and we haven't even touched this yet. Reliability is getting lower. So that's what we could look at right here. Is four points of armor, ten points on engine, just to keep them at the eight kilometer speed. I mean, you're getting a lot of armor up here. I think this is probably the better way with production. I'm not entirely sure, but I wonder how it would look reliability and armor wise if we took these away here. You got to keep that because that's a plus twenty percent. That's huge. That is a plus ten percent on production cost, of course. But I wonder. If it'd be worth it, if we just looked at the, the differences in production. Yeah, you know what? I'm really curious. Oh, we don't even have enough experience to, to do all this, by the way. We're out of experience, unfortunately. But yeah, I am curious to see if it would be better to have the armor increased higher and remove the armor skirts and instead add the wet ammunition storage. Let's just take a look here. All right, so I've written all these down and we're just gonna see What's the better way to go? I feel like you gotta play around with this a lot and test things in order to get like a good accurate uh, assessment of what the, the best way to go would be. And so by incre increasing the reliability, it gives you a lot more uh, to play around with here. Again, we don't have the experience for doing any of this. Uh, but yeah, if we wanted to then now increase the armor and keep the speed again at the eight kilometers. And how much more could we do? We could do like one more here. So we're comparing that previous model, that previous build that we had there uh, to this one with the wet ammunition storage and then the increased armor. So here at the reliability, we have almost essentially the same reliability as we had before for good comparison sake, I think. Uh, it's about 0.2% lower, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so now looking at the other stats here, our rank through is about a point higher right now with this design. Uh, our armor is quite a bit higher. It's four points higher. Uh, so yeah, a lot better armor. Our production cost is practically the same. Uh, it's 0.4 higher, so a little bit higher. Uh, the speed is actually faster, so we might be able to like reduce the engine. No, we can't reduce the engine if we want to stay above eight. You could increase the armor further to lose even more uh, reliability, but let's compare with the same reliability. Uh, as of right now, our speed is higher. Overall, this is a better model. Uh, yeah, this looks like it's, it's much better. Uh, and then you could, as I said before, just increase the armor and now you're going to lose even more reliability. I mean, it's a problem. Reliability is not great here, guys. Uh, yeah, that is an issue. So you're going to have some reliability problems with it, with this design. Uh, but overall it's actually better. I think we might end up going with this, uh, even with the reliability issues. We need the, the 23 experience. So I'm gonna have to, you know, j just reduce these uh, we're getting trying to get to 12 and 8 just reduce them until we have maybe remove this one here just until we get down to something we can actually afford here uh, I guess we'll have to keep taking these down okay so we want to get to 12 8 and then add that there uh, let's go and save that and then what we'll do is we'll just fast forward this until we have the experience we need yeah we'll get the experience up and Czechoslovakia is gone as is Albania. So they're starting to get uh, annex, starting to annex these these little countries here. Uh, so we're better in the convoy situation. That's not bad. Uh, let's go and put another one to submarines. We're not gonna get any more big ships right now, guys. Let's get some submarines going. But yeah, we need about, I think it's five more experience. I could be wrong on that. I think it was 22 and we only had 17, 16 or 17. So it might be six more. We'll take a look at five once we get to the five and see if that's enough. That's the last thing I want to do so that we can get these producing here. I feel like there's a bare minimum here that I want to do. Uh, but you can see our manpower is going back up. So that's good uh, now that we changed up our conscription laws. 
They don't go much higher. Uh, that's all the divisions and, and ships that are pulling those. Uh, let's go ahead and put these ships that we built, which are two destroyers and two submarines. And we can also take a look and see if that heavy cruiser's done training, which it is. So we'll throw them over here. So we'll have to repair those. We'll let it go up to six just in case it was six experience that I needed. I don't remember how much it was. All right, there we go. So that should be enough to get these medium tanks finished up here. Uh, and that'll be the Alpha 20s. We do need a name for the medium tanks. We can go and start producing them and then just change their name. I don't think that'll be a problem. Or, you know, I'm not entirely sure if that'll be an issue renaming them once they've been produced. I don't think so. Uh, so yeah, we wanted to get the armor up to eight. I think that's what we had it here, eight and 12. And then we had this, uh, the wet ammunition storage. Was that right? Was it seven experience we needed? Oh, good, it, good God, it would figure. I didn't, I'm one short of what we needed here. All right, well, we'll just go ahead and, uh, I guess we gotta wait a second, I'm not gonna slowly make these adjustments. So I think that's what it was. I think that's how our design looked. So we'll just gotta wait until we get one more experience, which means we got another uh, research slot. This is what we're gonna do, guys. We're just gonna have to do it next episode. Uh, because yeah, now we gotta pick a, a focus, we gotta pick a, a, a tech, and we're still not at the seven army experience to make that adjustment so I can start building it. So we'll just wait uh, until next episode. Uh, we are going to have a Monday episode. I know we don't usually have Monday episodes. However, this is a new series. It's a fairly popular series as well. Uh, so we'll have a Monday episode, but it's going to be a short one, guys. But at least we'll have a Monday video. Uh, so we'll try and make as much progress as we can get into 1940 for that next video. Uh, and yeah, go ahead and get a tech selected. But keep in mind, because I am recording the next episode right after this one, I will not be able to like you know respond to your comments here in the next episode, and uh, you know if you like make any suggestions for the next focus to get, I wouldn't have read that before I record the next one. Uh, so we'll have a short episode for Monday. Uh, this is gonna be the end of this one. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next one, and thanks for watching.